this is Stephanie Talk Tales and Trivia. How are you this first week of 2017? I'm doing fantastic. Ah, the past, such fun. These last couple of days of the new year have brought with them memories of long ago. Yes, my childhood memories. And how we as children love the easier things of life. Friends, sleepovers, games, snow days, and blanket forts and fun created only by our own imagination. What were your favorite things to do as a child? We all think back at one time or another about how wonderful certain times in our young life were. I actually have quite a few things I love, but in this episode we'll focus on one of my all-time favorites. Perhaps, just perhaps, it's one of your favorites too. Saturday morning cartoons were my all-time favorite, And actually, Saturdays in general were so much fun for me. But who remembers Underdog? Well, I should say, who doesn't remember Underdog? He was a lovable little beagle, wasn't he? If you grew up in the United States and were around in the late 60s and early 70s, like myself, you surely recollect this classic cartoon. Why was it a fond memory for me? We'll get to that a little later in the episode. Underdog debuted in 1964 on the NBC network under the primary sponsorship of General Mills and continued in syndication until 1973 with 124 episodes. The syndicated version of the Underdog show consists of 62 half-hour episodes, most of which can be found on YouTube ready for some serious weekend binge-watching. Almost all that watch, no matter what your age, will somehow fall in love with the main character. You see, Underdog was Shoeshine Boy's heroic alter ego who saved victims of crime or emergency, such as a mother who lost her son, but also suddenly appeared whenever his love interest, Sweet Polly Purebred, needed saving, or villains such as Simon Bar Sinister or Riff Raff would make their appearances to create havoc on the city. It was fun to see him disappear in a telephone booth and emerge as underdog. This had such an impact on people of all ages. And that is why Underdog came out as a movie in 2007. It was a good-natured family film based on the cartoon series. Truly a must-see for fans of the original cartoon. The exceptional display around this cartoon was the thought that went into it. The playfulness of a flying dog who was a superhero could really never happen. It was fantasy. You see, he wasn't like all the other superheroes out there at the time. He was clumsy, imperfect, and innocent, and to me, lovable. He was noble and good-natured. He had a heart and believed, most times, in the good-natured spirit of people. I remember it being funny how Underdog always spoke with a rhyming voice, which was adorable. His famous catchphrase being, There's no need to fear, Underdog is here. My tale for this episode is all about Saturday mornings when I was young. Let me set the scene. A sunny day, no school, and waking up to the smell of coffee and my father whistling in the kitchen. A great family breakfast was next, which usually was a lot of bacon, eggs, and coffee that consisted of mostly milk. It was delicious. And cartoons were always a part of the weekend mornings. Life was good, full of adventure and fun. And of course, Underdog was part of the big picture. You see, what I now know is something I didn't know then why I had a true love of the character. Underdog was a true hero for me because he had faults and wasn't what we consider traditionally perfect. I loved him for that. If you are now to look up the definition of what exactly an underdog is, you will find the answer of why I felt the way I did and still do about him. The definition from the Cambridge Dictionary is the weaker of two competitors or anyone not expected to win a competition. From the free dictionary, we find a person with less power than the rest of society. 
a person that is expected to lose a contest or struggle, as in sports. And finally, the last definition I will give you, one that is at a disadvantage. You see, I had somewhat of a disadvantage of my own. I was skinny and picked on before we had the word bullied, somewhat of an introvert, and did not excel in sports. Oh, no. A nonconformist even to this day. I was playful, making up games and things to do that were all my own and that I did on my own. I had an enormous imagination that could soar high into the clouds, and with that, I did excel. And now, as a grown woman, I appreciate that about myself. Just like Underdog and all the people around him appreciated his different and sometimes quirky abilities and characteristics. Maybe we can all learn a lesson from watching Underdog. I know that I certainly have. Perhaps at this time in the year you too have done some retrospective thinking about your past and have come to see a beautiful, less harsh image of yourself than ever before. That is what I wish for you this new year. 2017 promises to be even greater for talk tales and trivia. What have you discovered about yourself within the last couple of days that you would love to tell us? Our email address is talktalesandtrivia at gmail.com and you can also go online talktalesandtrivia.com and see all the information about this episode and other past episodes as well as listen to past episodes of 2016. We cannot wait for 2017. We have some great things planned. Our research team is working on topics of interest for you, even as we speak. So stay tuned. We'll see you next week. See ya!